This is a Sports Catastrophe production. Hey there, hello, hello there. It's Jeff Cutter Diamond. and welcome you to another Sports Catastrophe birthday boy. With the birthday boy for today, August, April the 7th, excuse me, is a, was a baseball pitcher who played eight years in Major League Baseball through two no-hitters, despite having a 30 game below 500 um, pitching performance. And became general manager of the Anaheim Angels, winning a title with them. He was an icon for the Montreal Expos pitching at Anaheim being a GM. He is Bill Stoneman, who is now 80 years old today. Bill Stoneman was born in Oak Park, Illinois, and would convert to being West Covina in Southern California in 1962. Stoneman spent a year at a college in Walnut, California, and then transferred to the University of Idaho. And up Idaho win a, a conference title. And he was pretty decent in all that. In 1966, he helped Idaho get to the NCAA baseball playoffs, taking care of Northern Colorado and Air Force. All Idaho had to do was beat Arizona in the Sweet 16, and they would be going to Omaha for the College World Series. Unfortunately, they fell to the powerful Wildcats, and Idaho did pretty well. Stoneman received his bachelor's degree from the University of Idaho in 1966 and a master's degree later on from Oklahoma. The Cubs would pitch, would make the pitch, and actually Draft him in the 31st round of the 1966 baseball draft. He would be moved up to AAA Tacoma by 1967, and then it was brought up to the big leagues. He pitched against the Giants July 16, 1967. And in two start, his first two starts, he allowed three total runs in nine innings, but no decisions. Although the Cubs did win both games. But Stoneman was given a chance in the bullpen. Where was a relief pitcher? He would end his rookie MLB campaign with a 329 earned run average and four saves. He was less effective and went back to AAA Tacoma. The Cubs would leave Stoneman unprotected in the 1968 expansion draft, and Montreal swiped him up. Anyway, he's known for his two. No hitters as a member of the Montreal Expos. When the Expos faced the Philadelphia Fa Phillies at Connie Mack Stadium, that's what the that's what Shy Park was kind of na named for. It was changed to the Connie Mack Stadium. It was the it was Stoneman's fifth ever at Major League start, but only the ninth for. The franchise, man, marking the Expos the fastest franchise to get a no-hitter from the start of their existence. He threw five walks, but he struck out eight and gave up no hits. And at the end of the season, at Jerry Park in 1972, October 1972, the Mets came to town and he no-hit the Mets, making it the first no-hitter pitched in Canada. He picked up a seven-walk performance for that thing, and nine strikeouts, but he still had it. Anyhow, still it was good. He was five foot ten and 170 pounds. He was still a workhorse for the Expos, especially with the fact that the Expos needed a star pitcher. He struck out 251 batters in 1971, which was pretty good. His record wasn't the best at 17 and 16, but he still was decent. Anyway, Stoneman would finish third with that strike. I told it behind only Tom Seaver and Frankie Jenkins. Unfortunately, arm, an arm injury by 1973 kind of ruined his season, and then his ERA kind of ballooned. He would go 54 and 85 as a starting pitcher, which wasn't the best around. But I mean, we're in Montreal. So, 
anyway. Stolen wasn't really the best hitter around. He actually holds the record for most consecutive games played with one strikeout as a batter. He had 37 straight games in which he whiffed. Regardless of that, Stoneman, after retirement, would go into the banking business in Canada, then would join the Expo's front office in November 1983, being player of relations. He would become the Expo's GM in 87 and 88, trying to give Montreal some great. Yes. So, anyway, Stoneman was a great player and a decent GM for the Expos. Stoneman would head to Southern California to do some stuff. And then the Angels decided by 1999 to make him their GM. He would decide to hire Mike Sosha as the club's manager. And it actually worked out. Sosha had a long tenure with the Angels and all that. Stoneman as a GM was fantastic, helping the Expos out. But then with the Angels, he got them to win the 2002 World Series. It was just amazing what he could do with young talent and picking up people in trades and all that, including Scott Spiegel. He was fantastic and all that. As a GM, he also helped the Angels win the 04, 05, and 07 division titles. Unfortunately, that didn't translate much in, at playoff time, although they did get to the 05 ALCS and lost to the White Sox. Stoneman would step down as GM during the 2007 season. And then after Jerry DePoto, the Angels... GM was signed with, because of a power struggle with Mike Sosha. Stoneman came back in to be interim GM. And he was the GM for the rest of the 2015 season. So Bill Stoneman was a fantastic player for the Expos. I mean, the Expos needed some familiarized players. And even though he wasn't completely familiarized in, within the Major League Baseball circles, he was familiarized within the Expo fan circles and with the Angel fan circles being the GM. And you can't teach that. You just can't. Anyhow, I'm Jeff Diamond. I do.